Yeah. 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 Yeah, that, would, that would be fine in the force of gravity. Guys, anybody still have the quiz? Yeah, right here. Somebody else? 30 seconds. Any questions for that quiz? The ones that you're not supposed to do the three tables for, how do you do those? Remember, that's just like the algebra. I mean, I plugged it in, but I couldn't remember how to go from that step to just finding the first Okay, just give me one second. So when you plug it in, if you have, you know, like P and Q, and P is true and Q is false. So you have true and false. What's that? Yeah. So you, you use your little statements to help you out very directly on those, right? So it's just like knowing that 8 plus 7 is 15. So anytime I see 8 plus 7 now, I can put 15. Now we know true and false is false. So anywhere I see that, I can replace it with false. It's really exactly <coughs> the same. defining an operation between two things. So now we know the operations and, or, if, then, and if and only if, right? They're just like multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. We know how those operations work with different inputs, or at least I hope we do. If not, this is probably not an easy quiz. All right, let me see here. This is getting annoying. Let's see. Ashley Bates. Grange. Grange Bell. Matthew Benoit. Benoit. I'm Americanized in there. Chris Sandwich. Jonathan Bourne. Joe Cadillo. Joe. Kiara Coleman. Julianne Coloma. Caitlin Crowley. Caitlin Fluelli. Patin. Jamie Grandana. Ryan Grove. Francisco Sears. Chad Harris. <laughs> Yancy. Garrett Pace. Maria Hilton. Taylor Jesperson. Taylor. Brittany Johnson. Brittany. Grace.
Chelsea Murphy. Archer. Carlos. Lindrell. Lindrell. Uh, let's see, Jess Patterson. Joshua Peets. Joshua. Archie. Ezekiel. Amanda. Tori. Kirsten, Kirsten Simmons, Jenna, uh, Brandon Tillich, Kathleen Thole, Timothy Williams, Shelby, work don't change any of the original problem right don't, don't erase anything either on the back of the quiz or another sheet of paper correct everything you lost points uh, normally if you did all this work and you just made a mistake at the end just start there right you don't have to redo the whole thing uh, if you do it on the back put on the <coughs> front correct it so that I know actually something happened right or you could do it in pen just make sure I can find the corrections easily and don't change the original at all cool can you do one of the problems from the table? Uh, which one? Number 4A. Oh, 4A, yeah. That was our favorite one. Um, and this one is the spirit of Section 1-3, which is here's a bunch of stuff. You know what to do with it, right? So I did see a few people, like the one I'm looking at right now just happens to be 2 tenths for the first quarter of a mile and 40 cents for every additional of one quarter mile. Right? There, are, there are several different versions of the quiz. So right there, I did see a lot of people doing, well, let's see now, if I live 10 miles from school, how many quarter miles is that? If I live 10 miles from school, how many quarter miles is that? 40, right? The first quarter mile is 210, which leaves how many all the quarter miles for me to pay for? And each one of them is 40 cents. Multiply, add, you're done. Right? This is a very direct way to attack it. So even if those aren't the numbers you had, you could do it that way. Or I saw only a few people did this. Uh, if it's 40 cents for every additional one quarter of a mile, that's four times 40, which is $1.60 for every additional mile. If I have 10 miles, right? Then I got nine and three quarter miles to pay for because that first quarter of a mile is 210. So this isn't like a monster level of math. And it's not something I'm going to teach you directly how to do because I can't. It's got to do with something called number sense. Can you tease out the numbers I give you and what to do with them? There's not one correct approach. There is, of course, one correct answer. Because the tax cab driver is not going to say, oh, yeah, you give me 20, but the other guy only owes me 15 because he did it this way. No, it's, it's one set money amount, right? But there are quite a few different ways to get there. As long as you show me what you're doing, and you get to the right place, awesome. 
A few of you guys like counted the first quarter of a mile twice. You paid them extra, right? And I don't know too many people that tip. I don't know who tips. You guys tip tax kidder? I don't take the taxi often, thank God. I've only had to do it a couple times. Once was in Italy, so that was sort of like a roller coaster ride. If you've ever been in an Italian taxi cab, it's, uh, that's uh, well, anyway. That's a quite experience. Um, any other questions from there? I mean, you guys see what was up with 4B? If you draw a picture for yourself, it makes it much quicker. You don't need to cut it four times to get four pieces, right? So a few of you guys kind of cut it in different ways, which I think one of you guys, I allowed it, but I try to make sure you understood it was a long piece of wood. It wasn't like a square piece of wood that you can do like this. But if you did the work correctly, I was okay with it, but it was a long piece of wood, so I wanted one, two, and the last cut makes two pieces. You don't have to cut it four times, right? Okay. Yeah. Can you do 1A? Uh, I can't do it, but uh, what's the two main types of sequences, really? We're going to focus on those when we get to Chapter 5. I could have a sequence like this. And what's the main idea with that sequence there? Plus 6. Yeah, adding, right? I keep adding 6, adding 6, adding 6. Or I could have a sequence like this. And I'm multiplying, right? Now, kind of mix them up sometimes. Like every other time, I add a different number. But you still, it's basically you start with, is he just adding stuff or multiplying stuff? You can pretty quickly eliminate one or the other. So if you see something like this, I add 6, I add 42. No, 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 it's not. So it should probably be multiplication, right? OK. So, I mean, 1A which is actually, I try to make it pretty straightforward. There's a negative sign that pops up, but some of you guys just said every other one's negative. I love it. You actually could say you multiply by negative something, and that would get you there also. You can use your calculators to figure out multiply by 3, multiply by 3, I don't care. As long as you tease out what the pattern is, I'm happy, right? And be careful, I ask for the next three terms in the sequence. So if you only give me the next one, I'm going to lose some points. Not a ton of points, but some points. Is that enough for that? 1A? 1B, I try to make a little <coughs> bit more interesting, but it was a lot like something from the homework, really, um, where you add, you don't always add the same number, but there's a pattern amongst what you add. Right? It's a lot like something out of the homework. Cool. Any other questions? Um, how about from this quiz we just took, or is that what you guys are asking, hopefully? The quiz we just took, do you guys remember anything from that? Any questions from there? I try to make it very straightforward, right? I try. Okay, so we'll see how that comes out. And again, you can always make corrections to quizzes, so. Uh, okay, so we're going to get right back into it. We have um, one last section before the test, because I'm going to do that section 3-6 after this next test. What's up? Um, do you need your mic? Do you need your... The one from last week. What's your name? Come on. Yeah. Okay. What were you asking me earlier, Jenny? You were asking me something. I thought when you were talking on the board, you were saying two distributed okay. and change the signs, but you were. I want to make a big, because I tried to make a big deal of it then. There is no distributive property in logic, period. But we're lucky that it looks like distribution for just two things. Because we saw last time that this does not work well with this. 